Hey everybody, this is Michael from Asia Virtual Solutions. Um, today came out an uh, exciting update for GSA Search Engine Ranker, which uh, is going to make a lot of uh, sense. It makes a lot of. Um, it helps a lot with regards to site list. Um, custom site list was recently added, but it was a bit of a problem. So uh, Sven has redesigned the whole custom or global site list uh, area in GSA. And this might be a little bit confusing. So this video is just a quick overview of that new GSA feature and how, it, how you would be using it. Uh, please note this is a brand new feature and there might be some changes uh, as uh, as we go through as we go forward and Sven might change or add some things to it and there might be a bug here and there so just be patient this is a new feature um, let me quickly walk you through it so if you go to the say the scroll down go to options open the advanced tab and you will see this now has completely changed this is completely different from uh, what it was before and um, you might be a little bit confused into, as to what's going on here. Why does it look like this now, all these colors and stuff? Um, so basically, uh, you, you have your identified. Before there was identified, all these you see in the colors here, submitted, verified, and failed. Uh, but it didn't look like this. And there was a custom uh, button at the bottom. But this now has changed. So let's look at how the the the... the First four by default will always be to your C drive, U C user, administrator, uh, app data, GSA, search engine, and a link like that. So don't be confused by the link that I have here because I'm using custom. I have my own link to the submitted. I use something else in the submitted. So don't be confused. But this this will be the default that you will have when you. When you first get GSI search in Ranker, you will only see those, uh, what's it, four, yeah. And then below this here is list, list with my own list that I added. Now, why would you add your own list? So maybe you bought a link list from Asia Verge Solutions, and this is shared with your Google Drive. So you install Google Drive here, and now you want to use that list. Or you bought the list from any of the many other link list providers. And they shared via Dropbox, and um, you have installed Dropbox on your VPS or have it on your computer, so you can just browse to that folders in Dropbox and use the link list from there. So I'll, I'll show you quickly. Let's say, wh why is that uh, a good thing that you can create many custom uh, uh, lists? Uh, maybe you promote many different kind of things. Maybe you promote plumbers, travel sites. Uh, baking, uh, dancing, car mechanics, real estate, and you want you have scraped scraped list that is very specific to that niche. So you you don't want to use just shoot off links to to mixed uh, site list, which is uh, um, sorry. Just let me just close this. Uh, 10 o'clock p.m. Uh, and you want you have specific site list for specific niches uh, and you both targeted lists so well, that is handy so let's say I have uh, a, a, a niche that I'm promoting it's about plumbers and I scrape many links and I use GSA platform identifier and I save the list in here then how you will use it is you will go to add here uh, browse to the folder so that's my plumbers um, plumbers. Uh, if this was your Dropbox, if you this was your link list that that you bought in a shared by uh, Google Drive or or Dropbox, then you would just browse to the Dropbox and select uh, the verified list or twenty four verified list or whatever the people call them that you get your list from. You can just browse to there, and then here yeah, you can specify. Uh, but this is a custom list, so we'll, ex we'll look like that what are other options in there is for. But if you use it like this for your custom list, you select that. Custom lists that are normally shared to you, uh, that you bought online, they're normally in a Dropbox folder which is read only. Um, so in that case, you can check that box 
and then uh, GSA is not going to try and write to that folders but it can read the links and then use the links uh, if you have your own le le uh, le folder and you don't mind GSA writing to it then you can uncheck that box um, with regards to the format uh, most of the providers are still using the old format including Azure Virtual Solutions which like look like this so this is the old format it's just site list general blocks uh, just there's no other uh, thing in front so this is the old format there's a new format which is called type and name um, which I'm not using yet but it doesn't really matter because GSA will be able to read pull the list from whichever list you have but in my case my list is in, a, is in the old format um, and since my read is a read only I'm going to disable add PR because to use PR you really need a dedicated um, a software that vir assign virtual PR to the list and that slows things down and as PR is not really a thing since maybe 10-15 years Google stopped assigning PR so PR these days is not what it used to be, Google PR. This is just virtual PRs that is assigned. I really don't use this at all. So that's it. So you have added your folder, you specify customers, and now you just click OK. Um, and that's it. Now it's added. You will see it in here. Um, I think there's a, uh, I don't know how you add colors to it, but it's not important. Okay, so now we have our 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 custom list added in here, um, and now we want to use it in our GSI project. So let's say, okay, so that's the the plumbers one that I added. So let me click OK, and now we go and create a new project, and you want to now promote your plumbers business. So you do your normal platform selections. And then you go to the options. From the options, you will select. Um, basically, we're going to use only user defined and not that default ones. In the past, we used the default ones, but I think from now on, just use user defined. If we check user defined, it will disable all the other ones. Um, also, this one, the, the other one here, you don't really want to use this because. That is just for the for for compatibility reasons that's when added this but it basically used the custom list but it's not going to use all of your custom list um, so you have to select here which custom list to use but I think the easiest is just to use user defined um, and from here it will now automatically disable whatever you added uh, selected before so you go in here and here you can select what you want so here's my plumbers so let's say I want to use only the side list for plumbers that is it now my side list for plumbers is checked I click OK and that's it so now the only thing side list we will be using is the plumber one um, and you see now it's, now it's uh, Oh, sorry, that's something else I had before. Uh, that, that's from before, so ignore that. Uh, this is the one we added, so we just check that one. Click OK. So now you can start promoting. Maybe, maybe you have more than one list that you want to use. So maybe you have, you see there, I have some other list in here as well. Uh, custom list. So maybe you have plumber one, plumber two list. Uh, maybe you used the uh, verified list, the uh, last 24 hour verified list all time. You can select here, yeah, and if you want to use the identified, you just have to scroll. Okay, I don't, I removed it, so it's not in here. I just don't know, I don't know why it keeps ticking. Um, and so this is this is how you use this this list. So you just select in here which ones you want to use, and click OK. And that's it. Now your project will only use that list. It will not use anything that was checked here before because user defined override everything else. Okay, so that basically is how it's done. So don't be scared by the new look. 
just add your custom list from Dropbox or that you have other linked list. Just select the folder where your list is and um, select um, custom as, as the type. Uh, i just use that one quickly. Uh, you select custom as the type. Now, you will see here uh, that there's these options and we can select these different options. And I select, I said custom for, for a linked list. But maybe you want to, um, maybe you want the verified links from this plumbers to go to a different folder. You don't want the, the plumbers verified links to get mixed up with your other verified links. Do you want the plumbers kept in a separate list? What you can do then is, uh, I'll say, maybe, maybe make a folder, plum, plumbers verified, and then we go to, yeah, we select that folder, uh, plumbers verified. Uh, we select verified, and do not check read only, because we want to save the files in there now. File type, just go to old format, and I don't want PR. So now, we click OK. So, um, and you see now it's called a verified list. So, click OK. And uh, if we go and make a new project now, um, and the option op in the options tab, you can then uh, check that. Go over here, and uh, you can uh, you can uncheck the ones that you don't want. And we say we want the plumbers one, the custom list, so it will pull from here, but it should save the verified links to the verified folder. So this is basically what I want. See the verified custom is just is just gonna pull the links from there and verify this uh, where it will save save the link to that verif to the bolt and verify in. That's how I understand it. Okay, so that is what um, what these other options are. Then you just click OK and uh, complete the rest of your setup. So I hope this uh, little uh, walkthrough is helpful. Um, there might be a few ch things that will change, um, but for now, 26 November, this is how the new site list look and how it works. Have questions, please direct them <laughs> to uh, Sven and the GSA Surf Forum, or you can shoot to me, I will help if I can, but I do not know everything, so um, best direct your questions in the GSA uh, forum where J Sven and the other people uh, might be able to help you. Thanks, have a good day.